Microphone check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yo, ten. Yep. Yo, yo, you already know the yo, Gemini Scorpio yo, podcast yo, is here. Episode yo, 23. Yo. Damn, 23. Niggas is really almost at 25. Yeah. Ooh. Jay Hill, I'm in the building. Shade, I'm in the building. All right, man. Uh, let's get straight into this. I think we got a long show today, so fuck it. Why not? Let's get into it. Um, first of all, how was your week? How was the whole team is in the building except for Jewel? Let's do a quick prayer for Jewel, real quick. She lost Jewel. another family member, man. And um, damn, just let her know that We're we here are for here. You. you know what I'm saying? We is appreciate you. Family, you know what I'm saying? We here. And we and, send uh, our condolences in your time of need. Oh, yeah. God uh, is with you in all places and all times, and he makes no mistakes. So he's going to fill whatever void your family is missing. And we, you know, we definitely here for you, shorty. Y'all want to call her? Pray for her? Whatever? Y'all want to see? Let's, let's pray with her if she don't. Let's, let's ask her how, how she doing. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I ain't going to do that. I gotta stop praying. I smoke a Hello. Hey, Jewel, what's going on? What's up, Jay? Hey, first and foremost, we want to let you know that uh, you want a podcast and the whole team is here and we here with you, all right? And we wanted to send you condolences and send you well wishes and a lot of love and on the podcast because the team member is missing, but we are here with you in spirit, okay? I love y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. All right. Can we, can we do a quick prayer, if you don't mind? Yes, please. You know, I'm all for prayer. Let's all go. Right, let's go. Um, dear Heavenly Father, we want to just thank you for the team and the family that you placed us and allowed us to have. We know a lot of people don't have people, but we thank you for even in small moments, you let us not feel alone. We ask that you fill Jewel and her family up with whatever they need at this time. Allow them to mourn in peace. Allow them to know that you're with them through every emotion that they're experiencing and whatever they're missing, you will fill them up and comfort them in this time. We thank you and we ask that you wrap your arms around Jewel and her family members and bring them out of this in peace, God. We thank you for everything you do. We know you make no mistakes and we pray for Jewel at this time. Love on her and be there with her. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. We Amen. here with you, Shorty. Thank you, y'all. I really appreciate that. I definitely We do. miss you. We weren't I on miss time y'all too. Sorry. <laughs> nah, no, we just, hey, yo, can you believe we just got started? <laughs> it's because you're not here, Jewel. That's all right. You know, I got to be on your ass, you know. But <laughs> I was trying to get myself together. I was just texting Alex. Like, I had to really sit down. Because for me, I was trying to, like, still push through, push yeah. through, push through after losing my mom. And I just feel like, oh, like, no, I need you to sit down for and a that's second. Okay, so I told him, that's so okay. I gotta be, As you, you should. know, real with myself in this season. I was like, damn, like, I really don't want to not be there. But I'm like, shit, I got to really deal with what I got going on right now. Yeah, yeah. get your rest in, sis. It's okay. We understand. Yeah, I appreciate it. I definitely do. All no right, problem. Well, All right. We'll see you later. Today, all right. Okay. All right. Talk to y'all later. All, all right. right. Bye. Bye. Shout out to Jewel. Bet, man. Let's get into this podcast. Yes, how was sir. how was everybody week, man? How was how was this week for y'all? Uh, this week was pretty cool. We had some crabs yesterday. That must have been some a, crabs. That must have been a universal thing. I feel like a lot of people I had, had crabs, crabs yesterday. Had crabs. I love crabs. I saw it on Twitter yesterday, Wait. Instagram. Everybody was like a seafood boil day like, okay, as well, a family. Wait, how how, how how many degrees was it yesterday? Like, how hot was it? Like 63, 60. Yeah, but 60, at night it got chilly. Oh, we just wanted, yeah. niggas just wanted crabs because it wasn't like it was like That's 75. Right, niggas right. just wanted crabs. All yeah. right, fuck it. So everybody was good then, basically. Yeah, Hell cool yeah. Cool little week. My niece crabs. turned 18 yesterday. Happy birthday, niece. So shout out to her. Mm-hmm. Shout out to her. Amaya's uh, been at her grandparents all week. So yeah. you feel what I'm saying? It's been a calm house. Like, we miss her. But, you know, you know. Kick your feet up, relax. You facts, know, she's facts. calling to come home today, but I might make her stay one more day. So we'll see. All right, so look, man, we want to get into this podcast. We was looking at uh, Black as Fuck. So first off, shout out to Black as Fuck. Yeah, but what was your first opinion about it when you when we first watched the first episode? I turned this shit on. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, the thing is, it's just so it's so disorganized, organized. If that makes sense. It's like, dumb as shit, basically. It's just a lot. It's, <laughs> it's like, it's really like, so I guess they try to make a reality TV show, but also like YouTube video slash like raw slash scripted slash. It's like a lot going on. So the first episode, I was confused. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So I ended up pausing it from that first day. I was like, okay, I can't get into this. And then the next time me and Jay sat down to it, 
Nah, shit was dope. So like, yeah. I fuck with it because it, it is. I, what I was saying is, my opinion of it is, it's not too much of anything. It ain't like the best show. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not about to watch it to get your shit off, but it's just like at the same time, you can watch it and get your shit off. Like, if you want, yeah. just if you if you don't want nothing, if if you want to watch something but not nothing too serious, because some people are like that. Like, some people don't want to watch something they gotta overthink about. Sometimes some people don't want to watch too much drama. Some people don't want to watch too too much action. Sometimes. So if you like eating or you got somewhere to go and you're trying to pass the time, I think it's perfect for that because what happens mm -hmm. is. It's like it's funny, it's witty, but it also drops some real deep knowledge yeah. and shit like yeah. that. Yeah, like it's like one of the, it's almost to me like almost like how you would with a podcast. Like sometimes people just try to work for the podcast on mm -hmm. and want to listen something that you can like, or even like YouTube videos. Like if you you know not doing much, you cleaning up, you just want something to listen to, whatever. It, it definitely like he said, funny has a lot of little wittiness to it, jokes and um, just useful shit going on. Like so, you don't really have to pay attention too hard so but like he said the gems though i'd be dropping gems in the motherfucker the gems is in black as fuck like you so know you get calling, to watch keep calling it blackish and shit well blackish when did i call it blackish you've been calling it blackish all weekend really because i don't recall you ever correcting me if that's we the case. corrected you like three times no alex <laughs> who corrected me i don't remember i really called it Can blackish Take my side for one time. I, I I too called it blackish though because oh, so. it's the same. It's the same. He always wants it's to take your side man. Give us against look, it. He always like same. take my side. That he always like black as fuck. Oh, that's the problem with him. He always on another side. Can you he just said, take my said, side? Said, I thought we was on the same side? team. That's all right. We all won, right? Yeah, we the, all no, won. No, no, you're not. We it's, not. We, it's we all okay. Won. Heard it's, you. It's, heard you, boo. Heard you. Anyway, you know, anyway, I can hold my own without a team, so period. Okay, so, individual. You already know. So, you see how um, he said we all a team. I can hold my own. I mean, you already put me on the other side. I told Jay, don't do that. I ha that's like a pet peeve of mine. I don't like when niggas be putting themselves like, we over here, you over there. Don't do that with me because if I get over here too far, <laughs> baby, it's me against the world, and I'm okay with that. So Maybe we should just skip straight to the, the other segment. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Say nah. nah. But, uh, so what you what nah, you what you thinking? What you think? Nah, nah, we we, we want to stay still on black black. Oh, I wasn't fuck, talking man. about skipping because we wasn't doing that. Uh -oh. I was talking about the actual blackish unpacking. Black. See, you exactly. see you just did Thank it. You. Damn. Thank you. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> so unpacking black as fuck. So I wanted to talk about. <laughs> Woo! I really drink my champagne, champagne blame. Hey. I wanted to talk <laughs> talk about a specific episode because we ain't get mm -hmm. to too many. We got to episode four. And we're gonna we're gonna do this backwards. So next week we're gonna talk about episode three, right? This week I wanted to talk about episode four. So on episode four, uh, what was the name of episode four? Let me let me pull it up real quick. Let me see if I can find the name of it. Uh, the name of Black as Fuck episode four. Damn, I gotta log into my uh, my Jiffy. It's called. Yup, you guessed it again. This is because of slavery. So, <laughs> so the, the the name of episode four is yup, yup. you guessed it again this is because another slavery. episode first of slavery. all that first of all let's talk about the title again is book i feel like a lot of black people do so like niggas kill kanye west for saying that slavery was a choice and i'm not gonna be up here and say slavery is a choice because i know better than that however what i will say is i do believe that sometimes black folk do lean on slavery as a crutch I feel like we can. <laughs> Again, another episode because of fucking slavery. <laughs> Again, so another we... day in the life in America because of fucking slavery. Right, so, I feel you. So, I feel it. What's what, up, Alex? Do you feel like that's like holding on to trauma, though? I mean, it's a part of history, right? Do you, do you feel like they allow us to heal? Nah. All right. There you then go. Don't, hey, then come right, on. So, shut so up right there. You're right. Talk to me. Talk to me. So, so Alex, talk to me. Alex brought up a great point earlier. We were talking about uh, a lot of black folk. Is it that we want, is it we hold on to it because we want to have their position or we want to have revenge? What Say, ex yeah, exact point. Oh, uh, in regards to equality, I said, do you feel like, as a, a race, we want equality, or we just want to be in the position that white people are, like have the roles reversed. Both. Mm -hmm. I think but isn't both. that making us work? It, that's that's kind of putting us on the same level. If we want if we want the roles to be reversed, because now we, well, just, we as just as bad as them. Time. It, it don't necessarily mean you bad as them. It's just we want our time. And I think like as time goes on, things are changing, which is allowing more positions to open up at a certain level, up and up and up. But we still not there. So, so it's like it's not about. 
revenge or needing it to be our it's just sometimes we want our time so like, does our time, time does our time require taking away from no i don't think that at all so that's what i'm that. at with. that's what i'm talking about like, I, but i don't think i don't think people ever like well you guys go to slavery and let but us but i think like, I, don't I don't think, think that so. i don't think so i think that for some black people that's the only way that's going to make them happy if to get to give eye for eye type oh. of thing and you know what? I can't knock some black people for feeling that. I don't think every black person feels that. I don't feel that. But some people's history and things they have personally dealt with, I see why they would want that. Mm. And it can be justified. And we and I wait, cannot, wait. Can it be justified though? Okay. So your brother gets beat by the police and they take his and fuck him up and send him to jail and kill him in jail. What you want? Yeah, eye for eye. I definitely want to fuck the police. All right, come point. on. So it's like you know, well, I'm just, the, I'm the just trying to day, play. I'm not trying to play devil yeah, advocate. Like, I'm trying to play like angel just, advocate. Like, yeah, I to think, do the right thing. Right, I think, again, you can't fight hate with hate. You got to fight it with love. You know, we was taught that. And that is facts. However, I think that for that to be a feeling, for some black people, it's okay. Because I can understand it. I'm not saying go do it. I'm saying the feeling is okay. That makes sense. You know what I mean? Now, when it comes to your actions and reactions and how, as a whole, we have to do better, especially because we already have the odds against us, then we got to talk about action. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But the feeling, oh, baby, feel that because I, I feel you. I feel you. Alex? So, um, in regards to that, uh, so, like, you know how black as fuck drew some criticism because people felt like it was, well, some criticism is that it was whitewashed, right? Mm -hmm. So, I, is there like a, a, I guess a measure as to how much or how pro-black something should be, or because I feel like there's certain a point where it's like, can we ever please our, will we ever be please, will we ever be satisfied? Satisfied? No. And okay, can you explain the definition of whitewash to me real quick? Whitewash is basically like taking something that is adding any type of white culture into any can other. Can we culture. pull it up? So you can have. Yeah, I don't want to. Let's see if we can pull it up. Let's let's go and to another tab. And the only reason tab. why I ask that is just because you know. A okay. Okay. Well, we'll Monique read it first. We'll it read it first. Shout out to Monique. Yeah, whitewashed. You Shout out to the team, Alex Wyman, Monique in the building. Whitewash. Okay, a di. Urban dictionary, a, or are we going oh, to yeah. down? Yeah, you know, oh, urban dictionary. A derogatory so. term used to describe a minority who's assimilated with, oh my eyes, Western society. The whitewash person does not necessarily abandon his or her own. Where did you just read that at? The right there, babe. Yeah, so you continues, continues, that was all of that. So the yeah. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. So if you could click on click on the link, it ain't no. letting you click on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, it's, it's just going a little slow. It's okay. Okay. Um, does not dis her, uh, culture. Okay. So the whitewashed person does not necessarily abandon his or her own culture, but rather embrace others besides his or his, his or her own. Some people take it as a compliment while others take it as an insult. And that's why I ask. And you say that people think black as fuck is whitewashed. Like they're not. So basically taking his or own, her, her own beliefs and not taking the other side into consideration. So it's heavily black as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's gonna be black as fuck without taking white as fuck into consideration. What you about to say? Yeah, so but it's, just yeah, it's because black as I, fuck. so here they got a, a statement I think is cool. Just because I am open-minded does not mean I am whitewashed. Get it straight. Okay. Okay. So what, 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 what what's the understanding of this? So a, a, a derogatory term used to describe a minority who was assimilated, assimilated and with Western society, the whitewashed person does not necessarily abandon his or her own culture, but rather embrace others beside their own. Okay. Wait, no, but I no said that's it wrong. not true. I said it wrong. Okay. Because they, they are embra they are embracing it. If anything, they're embracing it being black as fuck. So I don't but, but think that, it's white. But that's why the last statement says some people take it as a compliment while others take it as an insult. And mm. that's why I asked because, you know, in terms of what like Alex was saying, um, you know, some people, I think I've seen a lot of critics on black as fuck. Like, how could you not like black as fuck? Like, you know, they're embracing our culture or letting it be known while others be like, yo, bro, you don't have to continuously beat a dead horse. Like, nice. we kind of know what's going on. So to completely keep trying to throw it, like, it's like, all right, what are you trying to show? But I think it's just the way you take it. I think that, what's wrong with black as fuck? 
Like, what's wrong with... Sometimes everybody's not making a show or a series to completely just be like, oh, you know, the, the, the since black culture is a thing and people always think we're against it, we got to make the shows so, like, you know, we could get money off of it because the time is now they're always thinking about it. Yo, we always been thinking about black as fuck. You know what <laughs> if I... If you're black as fuck, you've been thinking about black as you, fuck. You know so what I think? So it's just who we... It's, sometimes it's just people who we are. We want to defend our roots. We want to talk about it. We want to... You know what I'm saying? A lot of times it is shunned down, like, or we don't always have that outlet. So, so what? But I, you know what I think? I don't think it's an you, you know what I think is wrong with black as fuck? I think that a lot of people just are afraid of the truth and they hate to see it. So like, uh -huh. the, like what I see black as fuck is, it's like overly truthful. And it's, of right. course it's, it's dramatic. It's like an exaggerated. Yeah, of course it's exaggerated. Uh, but exa a lot of. Exaggeration of the truth. Yeah, but a like, lot of times, like it's facts though. Like niggas like, man. And you learn in extremes. Like, yeah. they see it in, once you see it in extremes, it's, it's like, okay, uh, I get what you're trying to say. I get what you're trying to say. You know, it just has to be put in extremes because if it's not in extremes, then people throw it under the bus or they sweep it under the rug. So they sweep it under that, the rug. What, is that kind of asset? No, I was just asking your opinion yeah. in regards because yeah. I haven't really dove into the show myself. I saw the episodes and the clips that we had to watch. I'm here know, for it. So, to it but I'm here. I wanted your opinion because you all have actually take, given it a chance and everything. Yeah, I'm here so, for it. So I think, I think if you black as fuck, you should watch it. So I, would, I definitely, I won't say. I think if you white as fuck, you should watch it. I think I don't think it's a must fuck. a must watch. I wouldn't say that. Like I don't think it's a must watch. However, it's definitely dope. Like I think you should check it out. I wouldn't right, say so, it's a like, must so watch how, though. I, I feel like it ain't Denzel movie. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's the only must watch to me. But whatever. So what I will say is, and will, um, I'm not gonna say like you gotta watch this. Like it's so good, but I think it's very informative, and I think if you are a person who just likes to get additional information and just likes to see some points of views, I think you should watch it. Like, I think it's, you can create a lot of opinion off it. It creates a lot of conversation. And I think for that matter, because it's so controversial, I think you should watch it. So because it's very informative and speaking of that, let's get into episode four. Um, we was watching and we, me and Shadi both thought this was cool because we- And also, if you watch it high, it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. I'm sorry. Cause I was this bitch cracking up. Facts. Um, if you, you know, if you smoke a little ganja, go ahead and throw it on. It's good. So it's funny to watch. So let's get into episode um, four, right? So like they were talking about, um, parenting and yeah. how, uh, like basically the double standards of parenting and the false, the praise that fathers get. For doing the no, 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 that's not what it. No, it was the praise that mothers get. No, 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 no. no, no. It was okay. It was both. It was both. Right. It was both. It was both. It was right, both. So it was both. Let's just. Right, we're not gonna do it like that. It was both. Let's 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 just go into it, man. Let's, let's just go into it. Can we get a little bit of volume? Literally, you almost never hear someone say how someone's an amazing black dad. You hear it with a mom, but you almost never hear it with a black dad. If I ask you right now, name an amazing black dad. Uh, Cosby. No, no. But if I ask you to name an amazing black mom, well, then I would say Michelle Obama. Oh, I, I love Serena Williams yeah. too. I, and Jada Pinkett Smith. Oh yes, Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith. And her mom too. And Jada's mom too. Moms, maybe. My, my point being is, don't you think it's weird how in the streets the black moms fucking rep is like Marvel superhero level? They might as well walk around with capes on. They can do no wrong. But black dads in the street, our shit is trash. Trash. That's for real. Seriously. I mean, black dads are like the Hitlers of dads. Look, I'm just saying this. It's not like you don't get love, OK? Look, there's people are always praising you about being such a great writer, yeah. right? And for yeah. Joya, you know, it, she gets praised for being a mom. She gets a lot of love for being a lawyer, too, like a lot. And I feel like, why can't it go both ways? Why can't I get praised for being a great writer? And I also had six kids. She didn't do that by herself. So why can't, you know, why can't we get both? It should. Oh my God. I'm sorry, it's just that, you know, when Dan takes the kids to the park once a week, once, oh, everyone's like, oh, how amazing, you know? And then I'm here with you people all day. Oh, what? Okay. What, that, oh. that was not a racist thing to say. This job is hard. And, and then I go home and I'm cooking dinner and I do bath time and story time and then, and, and, I take the kids to the park and I fall asleep one time, one time, because I took a really small hit on my, you know, medically prescribed bliss doses pen, which Dr. Chimchura said I need for my anxiety. So, I, 
And the next thing I know, I'm being questioned by fucking Hispanic and Asian cops for 35 minutes. Are you okay? Where are your children? Like, I'm a bad mom. And I was like, you know what? Fuck you. My point is that I think that dads are celebrated for doing 10% of the stuff that moms are just expected to do. You know, I think that is probably true about white fathers, but I don't think that black fathers get the same presumption of goodness. Facts. So basically, basically, uh, all right. So, all right. It's not just double standards from man versus woman or father versus mother. I think now we're, again, it's black as fuck. We're talking about the African-American culture. So, and I think they're saying in the white culture, yeah, dads do get praised a lot, but not necessarily in a black culture. So I perceive it as it is mom versus dad, but I think in the white culture, dads get more credit mm -hmm. than black fathers. But I think it's the same mother to father regardless. Mm -hmm. But it's just that in a white culture, it is, they get more praise a right. little higher than black fathers. So I heard you were saying, you was actually, I heard you say something. This is why I stood out to me because I heard you speak on this before we even saw it. You said something about um, you having to be a mother and like, what, what, what's your take on it? Exactly. So this is how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? So the clip we didn't put in there, like how the clip started is because she came into his lunch. She has the baby on her hip and she buys everybody lunch for his office and whatever. And she leaves the room and they're like, oh my God, she's such a great mom. He's like, like, what the why? fuck? Like, like why? because she came and brought you guys lunch and she has her son on her hip that like, she would get locked up for if she left at the home like, by herself like, like he, he was like if he, she, if he left her in, if she left her, him in the car she'd go to jail so of course she has her son on her hip like et cetera, et cetera. so you know my take on is is you know ooh, so i think that <laughs> so i do think that mothers are expected to do like so much and what i have seen in society and you know bash me, whatever, is that I've seen tons of times a lot of Instagram dads who don't do nearly as much as the mom, they'll post the kid and it's like, they'll post going to, you know, get ice cream with the kid once for the last three weeks. And it's like, yo, you so dope. Like, yo, that's dope. You is such a great dad. But the mom's literally been taking the kids to the park, get ice cream every <laughs> fucking day after school for the last three weeks. And when she posts it, it's just like, oh, another day with the kids. Like, and I think that, you know, a lot of times it's a lot of pressure because it's like, you know, yeah, like he's a good dad, like yeah, yeah. But on another side, it's like motherfucker, we do this shit all day. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Y'all get a Father's Day, a Mother's Day. We don't get six Mother's Day. Y'all get, get Valentine's Day. day. Uh, y'all get every single thing. You don't thing. even have to be a mother to get Valentine's Day. Woman, what are you period. About? Is that, so, on no. the other, so on the other side, what I will say is, I think, however, I do think that we put a lot of praise especially in an African American single mother. Like we, we is another level of like strength that we is another level. They deserve it. Yeah. But do, you don't think the, the fathers, I don't this never hear somebody say. saying he's a Th single black say. father. Like no. he's su like okay, Superman. This is what I, I, will say. Hear that I know a lot of great dads. So I, I know that the exaggerated point on this is that there's not a lot of fathers. Me personally, I know a lot of great dads. I know a lot of great men. Like, so I'm not going to take that away from no black men because I know a lot of them. You know what I mean? Now, what I say is, do a, are they acknowledged as much as single moms? No, like they're not. Like, so that part I can highly agree. But I feel like if you know them, they get praised. Because I know a single dad right now that they hit through the roof comments. They're like, yo, you was just dope. Like, he gets love. Okay. So Blame I just him. think, Lenny. I never. You don't know him. I do. I met him through. I, I, I but never, you don't know him. Like you don't know the crazy kid because you don't know him. That's why I said if you know them, you know how much they're praised and how much the people support and around him. Like yo, you get you get your credit, bro. So I don't think like that. But I think what it is is, it's not like a national thing. Like you know what I mean. I think it's already like single mothers. Oh, you know, like you know, nah. So if she's a single mom, she great. But there's a lot of single ain't shit mothers that get the credit too, just because they're single moms. But that's what we're trying to say. That's like, basically what we're saying, no, though. Because not ain't shit. I don't think that part is no. Being but I'm said, saying, but I'm every saying that most women 
who are single parents just but, get that praise but because the they're other single. point to this is the reason why which this episode highly displays is because first of all the father don't even remember his damn kid's birthday you know what i'm saying didn't wasn't even going to show up to the party is always working and is not there to be visible for the kids but he is a great dad as far I'm as a say, provider whoa, whoa, whoa. no hold on let me get my point across so that i think the biggest term in the black father figure is you can't do both like to be a successful providing father they say or they show that you have to be at work all the time you don't get to spend a lot of time with your kids you know you don't know your kids in that way or that realm like the whole episode is basically how much he doesn't know his kids right like you know what i mean but he works all the time he's bringing in all the money like you know what i mean but he doesn't have the time and i think the biggest problem is for some reason for a black father to be like they can't really do both. Like they can't have the time with the kids and bring the money in because if they have the time with the kids, they don't have the time to make the money. So like now the mom has to do both, but yet the mom is a lawyer and still knows all about her kids and still remembers all the birthdays and still present at both parts. Like he said, she's a phenomenal lawyer, which took a lot of time. We know how much work gets put in to being a lawyer and how you got past a bar. That's not a easy one, two step. You know what I'm saying? So she's bringing in bread too. Don't get it fucked up. But she also has that time to be a profound mother. So where is that disconnect on black fathers not being able to do both? Cause that's kind of what they're showing in the show. I think that they, he is able to do both. It's just in a different way. Like even on the show, like he, he sat him down with the belt, had that conversation. I feel like a lot of times the way we interact with the children is just the different way as a mom. And because that, because it's so different, they deem it or people deem it as not as worthy as what she does. Like it's not the same thing. Like it's the same thing. If we stop just looking at one being better than the other, I think we would get over it. Like, yeah, he might not know, uh, he might not, know the birthday yeah it was a joke or whatever i'm pretty sure he knows the birthday but he might not know the birthday but he he know that his son need to take a shower and bathe himself and the importance of that i didn't see her walk past and say oh you stink you need to do this and so i feel like in the dynamic is just is is it's two different and very important roles in her life and it should be equal but it's not but i think it's i think it's not that the women are doing that the kids do that it was very evident that the kids new mom like pulling up and showing up like they knew that so it's not that women are just like you're you're the mom didn't even have to say nothing the mom does her job and the kids are like mom 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 and it's like a part of the show where like you know the dad makes this bowling alley uh trip for the family and all the kids are bored because he didn't do the small details like order their favorite foods he didn't even remember that all his kids were vegans he bought them pizza like you know what i mean like you know mom pulls in like i bought you guys all separate orders because i know all of what you guys like i also brought you jerseys with mm -hmm. your name on it and your favorite and now all the kids are like mom 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 and i just think maybe that's just something that everybody has to come to terms with women's attention to detail is just different than men so mm -hmm. No, and definitely. I think, I, and, and I think that's why women get praised because it's always, it's already a lot to multitask. But the fact that women can also pay attention to the small details, that's why the women get the praise. It's not because it's taken away from the father. It's just that by default, yo, paying attention to detail really does. That's a lot of extra other shit. Like, just be honest. Like, yeah, you might tell them to take a bath, but you don't remember their favorite foods. You don't remember that they're vegan. So if you're trying to even feed them, you wouldn't even know what they eat. Like, those details matter. So, so it's not just that women are, like, taking it away from men. I don't think that's it at all. I just think that kids also notice it because for kids, the details matter. So that's what we're going to do. I got, I'm going to get somebody on, on the line, my pro fight. He's married. He has, uh, don't give me a line, two or three children. And hey, can we get this a little bit volume so I can hear him? Um... I think his wife is on a on a conference call, so I'm gonna ask him what he think, and we're gonna see if if uh, he can get his wife to call back when she's not busy. Let's see if he answers. It's your light, right? No. Take it a little long. Please leave your message for well, maybe we're, we, we, we're double yeah, back but, on that. You know, I, I still think it's a phenomenal clip because I just think that like, you know, it just shows that how relatable that this cycle is from man to man, ch children to children across the nation. Um, like, you know, even when the white mother speaks, she says the same thing. It's like, yo, he comes home, takes the kids to the park one little time. I fall asleep one time off my medicine because I have anxiety. <laughs> and now cops are at my door telling me I'm a bad mother. But y'all won't tell him he's a bad father for only taking his kids to the park one time. Like, you know, so I think it's just a, there's definitely 
not more so a stereotype. I think it's a relatable moment just across the board, nation to nation, mom versus, you know, dads, like, you know what I mean? Even, but again, still acknowledging the fact that, yes, black fathers do get less uh, acknowledgement than white fathers because I think even in a white household, like, or even in movies, they always show how white guys are taking their kids to the play baseball and, you know, um, and they even showed the black dad, like, you know what? I'm not going to take him to go to baseball. I'm going to just become the baseball coach. <laughs> and, you know, still fucked it all up. But, you know what I mean? Just still, you know, I think that white got, you know, they perceive that white dads do all this extra stuff with their kids. They're the one to take them to practice. Like, but, like I said, because I know phenomenal black dads that do that as well. You know, I kind of hate that. I don't know where the disconnect is if the whole nation doesn't see it. Because I feel like there are people that know phenomenal black dads like now you're right like there's phenomenal black dads out here like that's doing it all the same way cooking clean it doing it all like literally do it all like you know one of my friends dad her dad is the cook the chef and everything in the house her mom don't even cook like her dad has always been the one to pay attention to those details to her like you know what i mean so she says she's like oh, i love my mom i'm out of debt but my dad she'd be like my motherfucking dad <laughs> yeah like you know what i'm saying I, so I, I i hate that that's exaggerated that way because I feel like I don't want to continue that stigma that that's just the only option because that's not true because there's great dads but I see why they would do it because stereotypically it's not acknowledged as high if that makes sense see I think for me it's interesting because I had a dynamic like uh interesting power dynamic in my household because my dad was early in 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 life like I didn't see my dad at all he was always at work mm -hmm. working three jobs you know it was six of us so he really had to he had to do what he had to do uh, and moms was home to really raise us but the one thing is that again that independent father construct he what he can cook he does cook he did all mm -hmm. of that stuff but mm -hmm. I didn't really get to see that until I was older um, and he could like retire from other, the yeah. other two jobs, yeah. but he always had it in him. It's yeah. just, I he was did, working. Right. So like, I he feel like do it at that time, depending on where you are in mm -hmm. life, you may see a different side of your, because the father that I had growing up was completely different than the father that my older sisters had, you know right, what I mean? Like right, where he was right. mentally, he's right, grown right. and like, and that's the same, I think. that's yeah. the same right, with right. like even celebrities you see, like, uh, Michael Jordan, um, no, not Michael Jordan, let's say Kobe Bryant, uh, and Kobe Bryant stood up the most because I'm pretty sure that when he was in his prom or yeah. really working to become Kobe mm -hmm. Bryant, he didn't have time to mm -hmm. be there as much probably as he wanted his for oldest. his daughter. You know what I'm saying? Probably, because it's like his oldest probably felt it more than yeah. His, and it's like people don't understand because if we yeah. don't do that, then we got this other conversation of women saying that they need men to do this and that and all this and all mm -hmm. that. We ain't even going to go into that conversation because we didn't talk about it too much. <laughs> but mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's it, man. Um, I definitely. To sum that up, definitely check out Black as Fuck. I think it's definitely check dope as shit. As it's a couple of clips, like yeah. like even like the start of that clip, I just gotta touch on it. So basically, I like the stigma that they played uh, the black woman. So the black woman comes into me and really they try to play like she just wanted to see what the fuck was going on. And like he had, um, it was mostly white colleagues, in, but he had a black young colleague in there and yeah. she automatically was like, and what's your name? Like as if like, and who are you? And double made sure, oh yeah, okay, you. Like, you know, was singing the hair out as if like, she was like uh, maybe some type of threat to her husband because she's not working him. And it just, it's so funny because that's the typical woman, nosy. Who, who is she? Facts. Your assistant. Where's she come from? I never heard about you. Like, so I just think it just has a lot of relatable moments for the culture. And that's why I really appreciate it because it's just funny. It's funny to watch because, like, it make you think, like, even the way they talk to the kids, like, he was like, I fucking can't stand these idiots. Like, it's <laughs> just like, Mom. and it's like, yeah, and the wow. kids is no filter. And it's like, of course you don't think his kids is idiots, but like, or you know what's the funny part? When the kids came home with the grades and the oh, first yeah. kid came, <laughs> the like, first the kid came, this shit, he man. was like, nah, you definitely get that from your mother. It's genetic because <laughs> his her brother's a weirdo. Then the other kid walks in with straight A's. He was like, yeah, come here. I did that. Like, I did that. <laughs> that was my genetics right there. So it's just really funny to see like, it's, even if those are the cases in your household, it's okay. It doesn't make a detrimental household. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's funny. Like, it's what makes a household and the uniqueness and the, you know, just that everybody's different. Like, so that's what I really like about Black as Fuck, too. Everybody's so different. Right. The wife is different from the husband. Like, <laughs> another part, like, the wife is trying to vent, and the nigga asks her, does she want to talk? But he really don't have time to hear her talk. Right. She was like, matter of fact, I do. She poured a big-ass cup, and he's like, he like oh, shit. Like, and he's like, listen, like, he's not listening and she's talking. And he's like, yo, 
I think I got a, bl- a nosebleed. I'll be back. And he was like, she was like, it's where's a, the blood? It's <laughs> a bleedless nosebleed. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Like, and he, like, walks off. Like, it's, I mean, I, I fuck yo, with it. Yo, take away, I, man. Check out Black as Fuck, Check out man. Black as Fuck. Let's it's keep it going. Um, so, we talking, well, oh, Shada, there you go. No, it's your turn first. Alex told you to go first. Oh, he told me to go first? Oh. Can somebody give me a lighter? The hookah is not doing its job. Is that shit not working? No, that one. I need a regular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toss it. Just toss it. I mean, you try to steal my lighter because that was mine just on the it. table. Just toss That's it. a sad shit. <sighs> the struggle. Of having a lighter. I think that's all smoking struggle. Niggas be finessing. Because I know we both ain't had this baby blue lighter. (laughs) Yeah, so, uh, babe, it's actually your go. So you going to go ahead and I'll get into the gritty, gritty when it's... It's my go. You ain't even have a go. Yes, I do. Before the show, I did. All right, let's get it. Maybe not in the meeting. All right, let's get it. Let's let's. So we, we wanted to do something different today. So we wanted to see the... Because it's a Gemini Scorpio podcast, but... It's a Gemini Scorpio podcast that has nothing to do with her- horoscopes, but people right. think that Right, but it we does. get a lot of people like, yo, we're a Gemini Scorpio compatibility too, bro. Right. So like, you know, so let's we're get, get into it. Exactly. Let's get into the actual compatibility. And we're gonna need the uh we're gonna need us too. So let's let's see. Let's so let me let's shout her out. Is um her name is San G G J G What the fuck? Is S O H N Sun. G, two words. J E E. So uh, he's watching know. her compatibility comparison. She's cool. Check her out. Um, follow her or subscribe to her YouTube page. And you know what I'm saying? Shout out to her. Let's get into it. What is Scorpio and Gemini like in a relationship? <sighs> well, these Scorpio and Gemini relationship is sometimes described as a battle between light and dark. Light. With Scorpio being darkness. And dark. (laughs) Sorry, Scorpio, that's what they say about you. In this pairing, your deep emotional depth and sometimes broody and emotional behavior is a stark contrast to the light and some kind times carefree and full of fluff gemini can we See, you gotta make sure you get through that whole video we are yeah awesome. hell yeah okay. hell yeah can we can we let's start i through. mean it's no secret everybody knows the same things about scorpios dark nature mysterious intuitive emotional that's who we are see that's a part when of i us. think of darkness i think of Evil, the devil, <laughs> black see, that's hole. that's your problem. See, see, but you know what's crazy? That's what people think. But if you really understand that, everybody has light and darkness with them. We just are not Hell afraid yeah. to step into the depths of our darkness. See, that's the different one. The depths of our darkness. You Period. better get into it. You feel what I'm saying? The other part of it, you know, a lot of people don't like to step into that side, so they act like they're unaware of it, or they're just unaware of it. So they don't know how to tame it. They do not know what to do with it. And also, they have more impulsive behaviors around it. See, when you know you're in the darkness, like, you know, like Batman, like I'm like Bane and Batman, he was raised in the dark, so the nigga could fathom through anything in the dark. You hear me? You so, know what I'm saying? Just call me Bane. So what do we, what, all right, in our relationship. Right. Let's unpack it like that, right? Where is that light and dark in our relationship? Where, how true is that to us? Or um, I just, where, how, how do we relate that? I, I think it depends on the situation. But like, I think like you know, with a, a dark nature, it come, it, it's really like can be introverted, like not really playful, like all the time, like you know, want to be like to yourself sometimes, like you know, with a light nature, very playful, wanting to you know be up and doing certain things, and I think it can be a little <clears throat> I think it could be a battle when like say Jay is in a playful mood or he's in a light airy mood and I'm in one of my spaces where I just don't want to be bothered like you know what I'm saying or I'm not in the mood and I'm not very playful right now aka yeah. mean as fuck and when Whatever. I say it she be like don't because call dark me mean. doesn't mean mean it just means I'm in my own like I'm in my own zone my own dark nature like shit we dim lights to do you know Pray. We dim like we pray in the dark. Why I can't be in my dark space? Because you want to look at it as evil, d- dark hole, whatever the fuck you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? So come on, let's go on. What else she All say? Because right, she's going. She gonna get into these Gemini's. Don't so, you worry. How does that fair in a relationship game? Well, 
Let's talk about it. Okay, Scorpio, first of all, you're going to find Gemini to be very attractive, charming, intriguing, and most of all, mentally elusive. Because Gemini can talk. They have the gift of gab. So they can talk about most subjects and they'll know what they're talking about for the most part. So for you, Scorpio, who's kind of reserved, laid back, and, and you rather observe to see these people just talking it up and chatting it up with everyone and handling it in such a commanding way. These people. It's kind of a turn on for you, at least at first. <laughs> okay? Now, Gemini will be someone that Scorpio finds a challenge to understand at first. But as we all know, Scorpio is the master of getting inside people's heads and understanding exactly who you are long before you have a clue that want, they you want, figured you, want, you out. Go? So right. Gemini, please don't get it twisted. Do not think that you can fast talk your way around this Scorpio because, well... <laughs> They're just not here for you bullshit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we can pause right there. All right. We're not here for your bullshit. Don't fast talk me. Don't think you could tell me anything like you be trying to do. Don't do it because I could see all through it. The master of getting into your head. You heard what San J said. All I'm going to say is Scorpio swear they know. We don't swear. You heard what Sanjay said. Yeah, no, because you try to say when it was you, you was like, you you ain't say she's, you know, Scorpios are light. No, motherfucker, you better stick to what Sanjay said. I'm, I'm sticking to what no. she's saying. I'm saying. what no, I, I'm, ain't no swear. She no, said it. We're, we're, we're unpacking it with our relationship. So I think what I will say is in our relationship, I have noticed like, Shade swears like she's so like, what's the word? Intuitive. I or am. Like, she's, not, I don't swear. It's I like, am. well, she's she is intuitive. Like to give you your respect. But however... With her intuitiveness comes with some fuck ups. And what I mean by fuck ups is like, she'll be like, Yeah, my intuition. Oh, let me tell you how my nigga. So we was talking the other day and it came out. She was like, Yeah, because I don't know. Because sometimes I feel like we be going outside and you be checking for the chick car. And I'm like, Wait, what? Like, what? I never, what? like, what? Uh, That's that intuition. Right, and that shit. So that, and I be saying that shit. Because it's a whole different. Just that part. We don't have to even go right, through whatever. That part, but that's though. not, but no. I said, I feel like, and it was my reasoning, and I still feel like, I don't give a what? fuck what you said. And like she said, don't think you could talk around me with your bullshit. But I don't even know because, what the car looked but like. I never even, you're a liar. I, I swear to God on my okay. life. But either way. Right hand. Okay, either way, we gonna, no, that's not even that. But either way, what I'm gonna say is, I'm not saying I'm 100% right. I'm just saying 95% of the time I am. All right, let's keep it going. Sanjay. Let's see what else is going on. Okay, so Gemini, you're light and fun and, you know, you're sociable. You like to be in the mix and, well, you're really not going to be on Scorpio's level of emotional depth, at least at first. Because for you, Gemini, more than likely, you're going to think that you guys are just having fun, right? Eh, yeah, Scorpio's not really here to have fun with you <laughs> all right so i'm not here for the i'm not here for the fucking play play so let's, you know what i'm saying Je what did i say on my last play gemini's play too damn much you know yesterday we was out and somebody was like you know asking us how we met and jay gonna say i mean you know what I'm saying she got me she put me in a chokehold because he came in playing he thought he was about to play so play key 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 first, play play it so ain't first no of all, play like, play key 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 we talking about how we met right so after we met, I'm just like, you know, you you have a talking stage. I thought, like, I thought it was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you talk, you get to know somebody. We go together. And that shit just was like. No, because what happened was. Like, I'm still talking to, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm still talking to my little shorties on the side. And next thing you know, it's like, you got boundary issues. And it's like, 
Wait, he what? did have boundary issues. How? I didn't have a girlfriend. But okay. Ain't no boundary issues. Like, I don't have a girlfriend. Let me tell you something. I, from the jump, you know, you gonna know what you get when you get with it. You get with me. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Ain't no it, friend, friend, friend over here, over here. What are we doing? We're pa- fucking? Okay, well, you're only fucking me now. All right, so okay? pa- pause. So all the little shorties on the side, dead them. <laughs> because even in the talking stage, it's me or me only. And then after the, if you don't decide to move forward, you could go get them back. All right, so pause on a, pause on, on a, on a, compatibility real quick right i was telling somebody we was, we was having a conversation and i was like kind of giving game to the ladies and i was like yo the best way to get a man that you want or to see if a man is serious is to be very intentional of what you want hence you already fucking she was know. very intentional and she was like well you're not going to do this and i'm just like well and at this tried, point he tried we, to sit me down i i gotta always tell this story because it always makes me laugh he tried to sit me down. I came over to his house. He gives me like this. He's got the serious face on. Like he's sitting at the table. Like, and he like, he like, I just, you know, look like, you know, for me, normally once I smash a girl, I ain't really into him no more. Like, I don't really want to do that. And I don't want you to, you know, be texting me all lovey dovey and, you know, acting like, cause like once I, you know, a lot of times I don't even really like him no more. So I looked at him. I said, okay. She is lying. She was so hurt. She was like, I can't believe he said I that. I never. So like, I. So are you lying? So I was like, I never was like, all right, that's cool. No, coming back, doubling back when we when we talked about it in the future, you was like, yeah, when you said that, I was just but like. But did you know that? No, nah, I didn't know No, that. we were sitting at the table and he was like, Ruru gave me this straight face. I remember what he had on. He had on white beater, some shorts and a do-rag and he was looking like he was ready for war. And I looked at him. I said, okay. All right, let's. That, when we had that conversation, he already know it was months down the line. And that's We're why we don't together. And, no, it wasn't okay. months. She's lying. It wasn't months down the when line because we don't even then? we don't even have an anniversary because it was day one. Period. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> let's keep it going. That's like, the minute the, the minute you step up in this oracle, you already know it, this is what's going on. All right, that's, <laughs> that's, what's up? That, let's keep Period. it going. Not all. Let me put that disclaimer in. Not all. Might not be you. Oh my goodness. I'm talking to the ones that this applies to. Okay. So um, you're in it and you're having a good time, Gemini. And Scorpio's studying you because they want to know, is this somebody that I want to consume? consume. Meanwhile, you're That's just over there being word. chatty batty. <laughs> um, chatty batty. Scorpio's highly intuitive, okay? So even that. in the things that you're saying in jest, Scorpio is making note of that, Gemini. So you want to you want to watch that. You want to watch the cavalier flippant conversations that you're having because you think that you're just making light and just having fun. And Scorpio's recording you and judging you. Always judging. Oh, Always way. judging. Okay? So there... With their- let's, let's, let's stop right there for a second. So, yo, what I will say is, like, she's absolutely right. Well, in our case, because through my experience, right, I don't know if this all Gemini's, but I think we have a way of communicating whereas that we try to be relatable. And in those related, and in and, and, and trying to be relatable, we give a lot of analogies. That's, like, the worst thing to do with a Scorpio because it's, like, and I'm learning that, but like I'll be trying to break something down, and I don't His mean nothing by are it. Poor. No, they're they're really good. It's just you're just no. very sensitive. He, he'll do it in like the extremist. Yeah. Of his, no, like like, it's like that's how you, you learn about? in extremes, right? But Do we have to rewind it? You we learn in extremes. Yeah, but that like the shit you be trying to get me to understand. I'm like, what did you just no. say? Absolutely. This, she'll be like, not. then it'll go from me trying to explain to like. Me bringing up the past or like... Because he do. And, and I'm like, yo, I'm not bringing up the past to like throw it in a face. I'm really bringing it up to have a relatable moment so you can understand because I, I, I think this time is similar to this time. So maybe if you thought last time it was this and you see this time is on the opposite side, let me compare it to you so I can show you how it's really the same. And she'd be like, nah, you bringing up the past. And I'm like, what? Or she'll bring it back up. Like speaking of what she said, like she, they, they recording and like judging you is like... She'll bring it back up, like, cause when you said that, and I'm like, like, or if it's not the, if it's not the, um, if it's not me giving an analogy, it'll be me just saying something when it's like I mean the best. Like I remember the first time I came home from the uh-huh. club, and I'm like, damn, like I'm here with you. You know what I'm saying? No, like, that's not what the fuck. I happened. said, I said I can't. I'm like, Jay I, I, came in the house. He he was working at the club. He come in the house like three in the morning with his friend, right? Wait, he what comes a friend? In, with Kayon. Oh, so he comes in. Kayon make his food in the microwave. I'm I'm up because I'm watching TV on. Couch, he come in, he's mugging me, right? He's like, mm. 
And I'm like, so I, can y'all tell y'all, I was like, uh-uh, don't come in here with that shit. It's real holy in here, right? I remember specifically, he was like, you. And I was like, you the fuck what? He was like, I mean, like, whatever. It f- comes out the next day because I'm highly intuitive. I was like, you acting like what you was in a bitch face. He was like, I mean, yeah, I could have went. I was, you know, I, w- I could have went home with a girl. Like, w- we wasn't together together at this point. We was we was together, but we weren't together. <laughs> and so he was like, I could have went home with a girl, but I came home, you know, to you. know, to you. So I, I thought that was a, you know, a good thing. But not when you come in the fucking house mugging me like, oh, you. I ain't like, even say yes, no, oh, I didn't like, you know, though. like. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you he was special like one. he was mad. Like he was mad that he could have went and he chose to come. Like, but I wasn't let mad. Me tell you it was just my son, way of like. If you had to be that upset, you might as well went with the show. No, that was just my way. Me. That was my way of really jokingly, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, because they again, you see, play too much. Lighty fairy Gemini, too much. Chatty, chatty, chit, chat. All right, Always let's... saying something. Alex, what you had to say, Alex? Oh, let's oh, let's let's because right. I, I seen a hand go. I just had to make sure. Cause let's let's get back period. into it. Let's let's get Highly back into intuitive it. Highly intuitive and emotional and you know secretive. And Gemini, well, you're not. Typically, no. now we all know that Gemini is a sign of duality. So although Gemini appears to a lot of people that they're out and about and everybody knows Gemini and Gemini knows everybody and they're just da, 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 with air sign. There's another side to you, Gemini. And a lot of times, that's a private side. And Scorpio's gonna find out that you have one. And when they do, that's the part that intrigues them. Okay? Is that true? So, look at the bright side here, Gemini. Now, you can confide in your Scorpio in a way that perhaps you can't with other sun signs, especially since you too like to study people. You too like to get in the mix and get in people's heads. I mean, that's a common trait for air signs, particularly Aquarius and Gemini. So you and Scorpio will link up and have that in common, but the Scorpio you're gonna find, Gemini, can take you places in understanding other people's behavior that perhaps even you hadn't thought about. Imagine that. Yeah. Because Scorpio studies their prey. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm listening. I mean, you know, Jay has definitely given me insight on um, other ways to look at things and people and perspectives, you know, that definitely broaden my intensity on studying people. So it definitely has heightened my intuitive nature. Wait, though, because it, it wasn't just like that, though. I would be like, well, may, I would try to give her another way of looking at it, and I'll get darkness, fire. What? Because I'm like, yo, what maybe it's just like, it may well, be what? What he would do is give me these analogies in extremes that makes no fucking sense. Makes That's perfect why. sense? No. Jay will say some shit like, you know, so like, you know, yeah, you know, she had made Jay walked across the street, but could you imagine if two train tracks wrecked and combobulated and jumped off a bridge and then she brought you, could you see? Could you see? Could you just see? And I'm like, no, because that would never fucking happen. Right. Like he says shit like that. Let's keep, let's, let's keep it going. Let's keep it yeah. going. Yeah, they're masters at it. So you two will actually find that studying people and how to get around people or work with people, not everything's a competition, <laughs> Most Gemini's and Scorpios do not believe that last line I just said. <laughs> so you two as a pairing will be a force to reckon with. So that's a good thing, right? Right. Right. However. Right. You know that thing about your friends and your socializing and your need to do it so often, Gemini, might be a bone of contention for your Scorpio. Scorpio likes their privacy. So in this pairing, you're going to have to be mindful that you may have to dial it back just a little bit on your social calendar. Woo, motherfucking child, read it because Jay just talks too damn much sometimes like to his peers and he has a lot of friends a lot of line brothers a lot of besties a lot of this you're not about to make it sound and like my chatty talk- patty I'm, 
I mean, all the si- all the videos had said you chit, you chat, you chat, you chat, you chat. I'm not. And everyone, all three videos, it was like they chat. The one was like they gossip, they chat. Not He's not a gossiper. But what I'm saying is to the people he's close with, the problem is he's close with a lot of people that he confides in. And that has been something that I never enjoyed. That's you my way I mean? of my counseling. I- yeah, but like to me, like when it comes to your relationship and we talked about this and another, it's like how many people do you take advice from? How many people are you going to go tell our problems to? How many people are you going to confide in? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that to me can be a boy. Like, yes, I made Jay's, all his friends remove me off of Instagram. I unfollowed all That's of them. That's crazy. It's not crazy. That's it's black. a conflict of interest. Dark. It's No, it's me, not. Me it's a conflict of interest because let me tell you why. As you're going to continuously confide my business into these people they also now can create their own perception of me as well you're not sitting here just telling all the goods and the goods i you're am i'm saying both, both sides um, i'm never just one side but the problem is that i don't want to be feeling like i can't fully always be myself because you keep confining these people and i don't know what their perception of me is i don't want that pressure so i don't want to see them they don't need to see me period nothing personal love them all we could kiki in person but when it comes to my private life i'm good on that okay Let's go. Okay. Can you handle that, Gemini? Okay. So, it's it's likely to be a relationship filled with some emotional issues, some fantastic sex, and some conflict. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got that in this relationship. This is a mixed bag between Scorpio and Gemini. And I'm going to get into what it is you guys will fight about more than likely. Okay, so um, that was that. Shout out to Sun G. What do you think of the video overall? Mm-hmm. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Mm-hmm. What do you agree with? I mean, what do you like? Um, what are your takeaways from the video? Uh, so, uh, no, uh, I think just based off our own relationship, just knowing ours, I mean, I see some of the issues that she did say, like, just like for me is, you know, like I said, like your airy nature sometimes com- collided with my introverted nature sometimes can clash. Also, like, you know, your command on, you know, friendships and how many social, you know, how much of a social butterfly you are and how open you are with a lot of people, even though I'm a more private person, um, it can be conflictive. Um, but other than that, like, you know, I didn't think she said anything bad. I think it's just what, it, you know, it ain't nothing crazy. Yeah. So Gemini's can, and Scorpio's can work out. It just takes a lot of time and patience. patience. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Patience. patience. Come on one more time. Patience. patience okay <clears throat> because goddamn all right so let's move on all right so you know i wanted to talk to that y'all today about when is it an acceptable time i'm not going to say this immature word but what i'm going to say is to lose the contraceptives and not use condoms the once. contraceptive get the f- i'm, I'm not, not you're right you're right when is an acceptable time to go raw? I don't like it. That's so raunchy. Like, when is it so... Basically, you know, niggas always capping. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, because there was some conversation going on here before. I'm not going to say from who and from where. <laughs> Period. So, about when is the appropriate time to go raw when you're dating? What do you think about that? I don't even know, honestly. I don't even, like... I don't. I don't know. I have no clue. So when was the time you was like, you know, this is the time? Like, what was it? I really don't think about that. So you just it. do it? Nah. I, I, I remember. I remember exactly. Let me know. Did I just do it? Yeah. What happened? We didn't talk about it. What happened? One day I was over. You bent me down over the chair. And you ain't even think about it. And that was the first time. The first time we ever had sex? No, not the first time we ever had sex. No, no, no. I'm talking about when you just did it. We never talked about it. Okay. But you decided, I guess you just was like, nah, not today, buddy. I might have. It was was a copping chair, the little fold over chair. You're giving people too much. It's a copping chair, (laughs) the little fold over chair, and was in the living room when I was doing something. I just was standing in the chair doing something with the fantasy, and I got down and, you know, and I was just like, woo, he's not getting the god. Oh, you was hyped. So, ba- what I will say is, what I will say is, what I will say is, I think, crazy. 
I have a I have a way of talking about things without directly talking about it. I'm very what's the word? Like I'm I'm very uh calculated. Okay. So like I think I might have had the conversation with you. I, I probably I don't not think had the conversation. Yeah, kind of weaseled around the conversation. I was like, oh, she's ready. Yeah, like I don't see. I, I don't think I would just. But I don't know if you said. I, I don't think that. so. What I want to know is like, okay, that's our situation. Like I know you didn't have that many girlfriends, so you're not by the time you just was always strapped up. I'm sure there was times you might have been fucking for one person consistently and just was like, all right, I could take the rubber off now. What was your conclusion? Was that the same talk around time or like, like what, what? All right. So honestly, sometimes like when I was younger, I guess like, I guess the, my way of like if the condom pop or something like that. And like, I don't know, like I never really, I don't know. I never. Well, so how does this do, who do you think ultimately, how, do you think this should be a conversation first yeah. or do you, who do you, does somebody just decide? So is it when the girl's ready and like, I don't want to use it. I think, or is it when it like a guy's like, I don't want to I think it's it both. No I think it's so, so I, right, it's crazy. Cause we having these conversations and it's like on one part, we want to be funny and like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, entertaining. Real, real but like on the other side, it's like, it's some real shit. So yeah. it's like, I honestly, I don't know. My mom's always from a young and she was like, you know what I'm saying? Shut like, wear, wear a raincoat. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, but I'm not saying that I never, of course I've done it, but I think it was definitely fewer times than more, more right. if that makes sense. Right. But it, I definitely went raw a few times, but not really too much because, yeah, like, Better people. Better wear be, that latex. Yeah. Saying, you don't want to get that latex. Yeah. But that, that's not even, like, when people be saying that, that's not even the worst of my fears. Facts, like, facts, like facts, nigga, facts. I be Real hearing people shit. say, people it like, yeah, crazy. man, like, she wear, that's why it's like, it's hard. Like, I want to have the conversation, but, like, it's a real conversation. It's not no game. Like, niggas right. like, yeah, I don't want no baby. Like, nigga, yeah, give me a baby. I can, yeah, give, me, give me two of them. I'll take, I'll take the baby. <laughs> but don't give me no STD. Don't take me that. No. <laughs> like, no like, don't, I want to. I'll don't take burn the baby. Me. Don't saying, like, burn give, me. Give me the baby. For sure. <laughs> I'll take the baby any day. How many? You want, how many? You want three? You take four. Like, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> that's the least of my worries. Like, so it's like. Podcast over. We gotta go home. I'm just saying that's 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 what I'm thinking Turn about. I ain't thinking about no baby. I ain't thinking about no late text. Take text me late, baby. Text me. Text me so, at two o'clock in the morning. But just want... don't text me. I'm positive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> shit. Yeah. I'm don't positive. Tell me. Yeah. So what I would say, I think it. De- you know, just to get into the more serious note of it, because even though this is a funny topic, I think that just going forward, I think that how how would you tell somebody? to have the appropriate conversation. When do you think the appropriate conversation should arrive? And when do you think like, look, like when is getting this or when is it then you should like have that conversation or unless she, you know what I'm saying? What would you say to a young, not even a young brother, niggas out here, just not even young brothers, niggas out here that, you know, may not even know. Cause I don't, that's not something we get taught. All right. You know, when it's time, like, I don't think I'm correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think anybody had a time to talk like, yeah, this always wear a raincoat. But it's never like when you feel like you decide you don't want to, though. So how do you, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy because like, damn, it's like I want to have fun with this conversation. But part of it is like I got a whole little one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, so it's sure. like I'm telling her to keep it on all the time when she gets a pro at 35. You know what I'm saying? Like when she gets the age <laughs> to have sex, it's like 40. Yeah, it's just like so it's like I want to have fun with it, but I really can't because right. like it's no fun. No, it's, tell, yeah, talk about but it. I mean, if if. If I'm thinking before this time, right, just to be real, let's be transparent. Before these times, uh, I would just be like, yo, as long as y'all have both have an understanding. And if y'all both have an understanding, do your thing. If you want to shoot the club up, go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to, like. Do not go crazy. No, <laughs> don't go crazy. I'm just no, saying, like. No, no, If that's, like, as long as y'all got an understanding, you know what I'm saying? But do understand that. Go crazy. But, but do understand that. Life changes though. You know what I'm saying? Like on some real fast, shit. Like fast, fast. a lot of times you, you get so caught in your emotions and caught in your dick and you're just like fucking and then you do have a baby and then you don't even like the bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like you got to be conscious. You got to be right. understand that your emotion is going to change. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if there's something, I'm always this worst case scenario type right. of guy. Like, and if you worst case scenario will have a baby or have a baby by somebody that you don't fuck with. Right. And if that's okay with you. Go ahead, but I I don't really have no advice for right. like like you said like to me like the baby ain't even a worst case scenario you know for me I think it's just a, a conversation that 
you definitely have to have once you feel like you're about to go serious with somebody. I don't even think if you ain't going serious with them, I don't even think this should be a conversation. Just to Facts. be honest, it should be strap Raw? up, strap What's that? up, strap up. I'm What's sorry, that? I don't give a fuck what you trying to feel. You better get some lube. You better figure it the fuck out. But what you're not gonna do is take that rubber off because what has happened is is. When you're not taking somebody serious or y'all don't have that clear understanding and one person, you don't know what the other person is doing on the side. You don't know what the commitment level is. You don't know. So God forbid, you know, oh, he fucking you or she fucking you. And then on the side, they fucking you. You don't know who that person fucking with and that person fucking with and that person fucking with. And honestly, motherfuckers is nasty out well, here. I, what and I was... just to be honest, motherfuckers is gone raw off the free will. Don't even give a fuck because sometimes a lot of people cannot control their sexual urges like they think they can. So they out here leaving the club getting drunk and it's just like, oh, I'm ready to hit With this With a sweaty bitch. dick. And <laughs> dirty, no condom. Dirty pussy too. That shit stinks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Jay, that was so wild. Well, I'm saying uh, you yes, leave the club. So in regards to that, what made me, because while we were talking about it, like being in love with somebody or like trying, not in love, but like trying to take something seriously. So, what about head then? Does that mean you shouldn't give head? Because that's, right, so, that's like no, like so I, I ain't gonna lie. You, <laughs> I'm a, so again, this conversation is is, is I want to be I want to I want to be joking. I want to <laughs> joke with it, but we can't. But I mean, I'm gonna just be real, like because I'm not no saint. Like that's I'm not gonna say it's different because it's not. However, we do look at it different in our culture. It is what it is, right? Um, I would say like if you ain't. I, I don't want to be a hypocrite. Like you know what I'm saying, like I'm older now. I'm a, I'm grown. Like I'm not a child. I would say as a grown up, like yeah, don't be getting hit from somebody that you're not serious with. You know what I'm saying? Because it just you don't want to get hit with a condom. One. I don't think nobody wants you. You know what I'm saying? But don't. That's what I'm saying. If you're not Let me serious, say something right now. I'm gonna just keep it real raw and real raw you for y'all because y'all just need to hear this. First of all, I think you still should not give head to somebody you're not serious with. And I think for guys, it's always different because it's like they're a dick. Like, girls got a lot more going on. So guys are always a little more precautious about eating somebody out versus a girl giving them head because they think, yeah. but let me tell you something which you don't want to know, ladies and men. So for ladies, nigga, if you don't know the nigga you're dealing with and he got any type of bacteria and he pre-coming in your mouth and you don't know, I'm sorry, your mouth is now contaminated. Men, if you don't know if that lady got a female bacteria infection, all type of BV going on in her vagina and you don't know and you put your mouth in there, I'm sorry, that mouth is infected. So if you do not know your partner like me, I think like, I think a lot of ladies more so, nah, I'm not gonna say that. There's a lot of bitches who didn't follow this rule. But I think that like, even like, I remember like, when I was in middle school and I was like so thrown off because I was like in seventh grade. I remember, I never forget it. Like we was um, in a library, like, and we were just all sitting. It was me and like seven other girls and they're already talking about how they gave head. And I'm sitting here like, what the fuck? Am I late? No, I started something? early. No, nah, no. Nah, like they was started like head. 12 years old. Yeah, like real shit. And I just was like, and you know, and um, I remember certain conversations with ladies like, nah, you know, if I don't go with you, I'm not giving you head. And I think ladies started to go by that, you know, then they got older and just, started doing whatever but I Wild. think the rule was right I think the rule at first was like don't give like if you're not my boyfriend I'm not giving you head like you know what I'm saying followed by niggas I think a lot of niggas follow this too like if you ain't my bitch I ain't in your pox but a lot of those rules changed over time I don't know what the fuck yeah, happened yeah when niggas got older niggas, they just start no, eating the or, ass whenever yeah cause oh the shit is in big shit, booty the, hole the, butthole the action he know he a cute he'll sucking tell you the shit out the asshole just wilding just licking it sticking in the asshole right out of the club that's the cute motto right that's what they said nah that's not the motto bro. I heard that ain't the motto slutty boys Anyway, we nasty, but I, I mean, some I niggas heard, that, I heard eating different. ass is a standard for a Q. It That's ain't the standard, but I mean, once you get, once you grow up, you grow. So I mean, you know, when you gonna have that conversation? So <laughs> you know what I'm saying like, is, but when you grown and it's not your bitch, like then what are we talking about? Because you could be grown, that's not your bitch, and y'all niggas just out here eating ass. Now, now niggas do be now, nasty. Now, they be now y'all out here with the eye and ass face. But niggas, yeah. Niggas. So all I'm gonna say is. All I'm gonna say is this, like, um, I definitely think even like just grown up conversation just off the rip. You know what I'm saying? I think like as you get older, like we going through our sexual like A nigga ever asked you to eat his ass? I'll be damned. Cause, Cause niggas be a, nigga. a lot of niggas be talking right, about this so whole goose part no, no, shit. No, no, like no, I don't I, like so nothing about I, it. I know a nigga since high school that nigga. got clowned. I know a nigga since high school got clowned because a video went around from a girl like his foot up on a dash and a bitch down there doing what she do. And it went around in high school and um people talking about high it all school the time. Oh, yeah. yeah. He about to be yeah. here. No, it went around high school and you know I remember Check on him because he's probably a serial killer. No, you know though. him. You know him. I'm not gonna tell you who right now. But and, um and I'm sorry if you listen to this podcast because I'm not explaining you. I'm not gonna say your name. Um but, I definitely know who it is. I know <laughs> which one of your friends look like the type of nigga that's gonna have his So I remember up. this has been a joke for years. 
this has been a joke for years, but I remember we were having a conversation as adults, right? And we all was out one day, and he was like, I mean, yeah, bitch, eat my ass. Like, some niggas really, like, and they was talking about how- high school? Oh, No, 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 nah. this is no, as they got older. But no, it's been going on with them since high school. But what I'm saying is, like, some niggas, like, think that once you reach a certain level of sex and sexuality, like, you'll explore anything in the other. Me, personally- let me tell you something. No nigga of mine ever even better think or dare to ever think I would be eating your hairy, nasty male ass. I'm not doing it. It's nasty. I don't want to even think that even when Jay shits, it smells disgusting. I don't know. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure your shit stinks too. The My fuck? shit don't stink like your shit stink. <laughs> All right, whatever, man. <laughs> where, where? Because that's what we got. What else we have? We done? So, <laughs> so all that to say is... Strap up. Strap up, bro. Don't be out here eating dick and eating pussy that don't belong to you, period. I'm sorry, I know everybody wanna be these sex girls, it's on all type of songs, they're getting nastier and nastier, but when it comes to sex, like not to get too spiritual on you, it's really a soul tie. And you don't wanna be out here getting the wrong soul ties, getting the wrong diseases, getting the wrong connections that you don't need. So if that ain't your bitch and that ain't your nigga, excuse my language on this podcast, but if that is not somebody you are fully committed to and y'all are going with a purpose, Yo, strap up, strap up, and find alternatives. Facts. Where we at, man? What, what's next? What, what? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my phone's dead. There's always some All bullshit. Right, come on, come on. You got it. You got it. All right, so boom. We had this conversation, and I want people to chime in on this because I just seen it, and I thought it was a good conversation. Wipe me down or knuck if you buck. Wipe me down. Oh, what? Wipe me down. Wipe me down. Monique, what you say? B O O S I E B A D A Z Z. That's me. Why be down? Yeah, we knocking and bucking and ready to fight. Come on! What you I think? think? What you I, think? Not nah, for real. So when I think about it, so I, I immediately thought of wipe me down, right? Because it's just yo, wipe me down, put you in another bag. To this day, like if I'm drunk and I'm in a club, wipe me down. You know what I'm saying? Pull up so, in the club, B I, think, I P gas tank on, eating right all drinks on me, wipe me down. I think, Come shut on. Up, I think, I think, wipe me but, down. When you think of nut, if you buck, I come to the club, shake my dress. Come on, but son. what I will that say, that shit is, crank too. Like it does, but what I will say is, I think wipe me down can even be interchangeable for a birthday song. Because if you if you throw wipe me down on it's that birthday, oh yeah, bitch, you just got an outfit, it's new, oh yeah, bitch. You Let me tell you, you better just... play both at my wedding reception. Buff, <laughs> not give you buff. At my wedding you reception, me. both. We in the crowd. I'm coming to the club, take about your head, throw these balls, busting these heads. What fuck did you talk about? All right. But wipe me down is essential. I seen somebody too was like, yo, wipe me down before I'm drunk, but when I'm drunk, not give you buff all right. day. <laughs> Alex, who you picking? Wipe me down? I'm definitely picking wipe All me right. down. All um, right, let me see if I can go off the head with it, what I remember from my notes. Um, so, would you change your. Would you. Damn, I had a friend now. Um, would you redo your virginity experience? Uh. N- no. Oh. I don't think so. Okay. And it's not that she was anything special. It was just. It wasn't. Not not even that. It just have probably you, because it wasn't. Have you special. ever, you know, since I just watched Fifty Shades of Grey, I'm just going off the top of my head now because I'm about the wallet. Have you ever had a submissive before? Like I come in the room and she just kneel down and like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no. Or in any way, don't even have to be like that. What is nah, I think they stopped making submissive women in ni- you know what? 1999. All right, so we had an hour <coughs> so next topic. <laughs> Like and submissive, just that ain't the word for a woman so no more. Episode twenty three, you know, we wrapped up. You know, black as fuck. Talked about some things, and um, so, uh, so. What, you you submissive, buddy? I am very submissive to you in the bedroom. Oh, I ain't talking about the bedroom. I was talking about just like a woman. I am very submissive to you in the bedroom in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. Okay, I like it. <laughs> Okay. So, um, I'm trying to go off the head, trying to see if I can remember all of them. Uh, I'm gonna just try to get one more. Um, so, training day or Friday? Saturday. You know. I mean, if you had to trade one and never watch again. That's easy. What? Training day. What I'm you? watching training day. I'm never. I'm. Why, I man? What you thought? Same thing. Training day, Monique. What you thought? 
Friday? Yeah, I'm high. I'm high. <laughs> I'll be high. She said, I'll be high. I need Friday. Yeah, I don't even know why y'all looking right, over like, here. Yeah, I know. Like, right. is a national treasure. That's, that's, yeah, that's he right. shall not be touched. <laughs> All right, I, come just on. Thought, I just thought I asked. All right, uh, last one. Um, night walks or night car rides? Hmm. A walk. Take a walk in the park. Let's take a long walk. Around the park, uh, after thought. Hey, come on, here we go. Jay want to know how to sing so bad. So bad, but he want to know. All right, y'all. Yo, so okay. um, us can we go to? So all right, I wish I didn't see this. Donald Trump said his drink light. So I didn't see it, but I I seen I double back. Right, so he didn't say. All right, look, he didn't say drink light. So, but what do you say? According to him, <laughs> he was being sarcastic. <laughs> he was being sarcastic. But what he said was that he heard that these disinfectants, they kill the virus within a minute. So is there some form of a I way that we can take an in injection? Hey, and yo. he had a stupid face on. Y'all yeah, know. But he claims he was being sarcastic. So what I would say is I believe him. What I would, because these next two people, you know what I'm saying? They so both Gemini. Um, so like I under, they both Gemini. So it's like, on, okay. He probably was just joking. As the president of the yeah, United States. Yeah, you can't States, do that. You can't do that. Being sarcastic. In that way, while people are in fear and dying, do you think that was the appropriate thing to say? Because my thing is this. 30 people in New York actually tried that. And first of all, kids all over the world, kids all over the world has access to social media. So here you are, a kid who's home and their essential parent is at work all day. And um, I don't want my mom to come home and get it. Or I don't want to, I went outside, I wasn't supposed to. You know what Donald Trump said, inject yourself with Lysol, who does not know any common sense at all because they're probably 12 or 13. And they're just going to do it. Now they're dead. Now what? No, 100%. Okay. What I will say is, you're an idiot. Sometimes you do, uh, sometimes you do things with good intention and just poor judgment. That was good intention. He probably was just trying to make light of the situation because so many people are dying. How much light can you make of? So I'm not agreeing with it. I'm not. I'm not agreeing with I'm it. I'm just saying. Like, I'm just saying. I who, can. There's nothing light about eight hundred thousand to a million yeah, people dying. You're right. There's there's nothing light of that. So Kanye West becomes hip hop's second billionaire. Three billion motherfuckers. And make sure y'all tell the stats that because they had the. Oh, wrong. Only thing I'm saying about this situation is. It's not even that. It's like what? Like why y'all keep doubting this man? Like everybody keep di- like I don't even have, I'm not even surprised when I've seen it. It's like he been saying this. He been uh, saying this. I didn't see too many people doubt him. What? I didn't see. Somebody people canceled Kanye West so many times. We're not that, about to have this conversation. But no, they canceled him for things he said, but not that doubted him. But how can you cancel a man like that? You can't. It's I mean, no cancellation. He's wearing a make America great hat again. That's why they canceled him. They're not canceling or doubting him that he's going to fucking get to the bag. I don't think nobody doubted that about Kanye. Yo. Okay. Nobody. Like, nobody. Yeah, like, come on. Like, nobody doubted that Kanye was going to be a billionaire. Niggas just doubted his common sense. And how, that, that's what they doubted. Charlamagne was like, yo, that was rich people problems. And yeah, but why Charlamagne do you think, why is do you... not a billionaire. So. Right, that's what I'm saying. But these, but these were the... These were Charlamagne the, does not speak for the people. But these the were the... He inf- spoke for himself. These were the influential people who were talking to Kanye West saying what he couldn't do. At these moment, time, moments and times, these were the people that was casting Kanye West out when he was saying what he was saying about being a billionaire, having stake, having ownership. You know what I'm saying? Having... Again, I don't think that's what they were canceling him for. I don't it think wasn't it, canceling. Not, right. I don't think it had nothing to do with the money. I think the logic behind it, they were questioning. But again, it works for him. So there's no question about that. But as far as being a billionaire, I wasn't surprised that like Yeezys, his clothing like, like come the fuck on. That was a given since they came out. Like they had, and it's not stopped. Like every month there's still a new release. Like right. same colors, different waves. Yeah, different then color, like, he still different get colors, money off thing. the blueprint. Like, like he get, come, come on, on. Son. Like but, royalties out the ass. So uh, that's uh, I'm a good. draft day reaction. Oh. I didn't see, you well, got the pictures? Well, so uh, you ever see? Oh, the I, girls when they were trying to like, yeah. that's what we said about. I, I think the biggest thing is because they were both white girls. You know, and I think no. One was black, right? One, no, no, no. The white girl that didn't work. one was black. It was oh, one I, was I didn't black. See, I didn't see the black. When she was trying to take the nigga phone, the nigga so, was like, yeah, the she "Fuck was, out she of here." Black. I thought she was black. black. She was she not like black. She, was she she might oh. be like a Kardashian. Oh yeah, of course. You know, niggas about to go to the NFL the foreign things. So this is what I so I took a couple things out of it, right? So you know, <laughs> um, 
I took a couple things. Uh, out I of need it. my black woman uh, by my know, side. They um, you know, they referenced when Russell Wilson got drafted and he was with his white girlfriend, and they were just kind of like, "Yeah, you think just because they made it that you're about to take the long haul?" And you know, look where he's at now with Sierra, a black woman. Um, but um, I think the narrative more so that I was reading on when I was looking into it was just the fact of girlfriends being in the room and being a part of that experience, right? And um, you know, being in that limelight when that they made their accomplishment. It's not their. <laughs> I guess Cheers, I play. Bae. I play too much. I'm sorry. That's Every my Gemini day. side. Mm -hmm. Light, light and fairy, um, like Trump. So, so all that to say is, I think the biggest, I think the biggest situation, because I think if the black, if it was a black girl showing the same way, I think it would have had the same reaction. Like, oh, sis was pressed, like, you know, whatever. But I think the real question is like, you know, how do they suspect for girlfriends to react, you know, when that time happens? Because, you know, one is quarantine style. So they're sitting next to them on the couch, on their lap, like whatever. And the camera's on them and stuff like that. And one of the girls, the one that the mother like dragged her off the way, you know, she made a statement was like, you know, I wish you guys would stop being so negative. She was like, you know, I was excited. It was my boyfriend's draft day. And, you know, I didn't realize his mom was trying to get my attention, but we're perfectly fine. Like it's no beef. She wasn't mad at me. And these things like this is, she was like, but I think people need to also remember, like I'm his girlfriend. I've been here through the whole entire process. Like I've been here for the tears. I've been here for the hustle, the drive, whatever. So being a part of that moment, of course, like was special to me as well because I've been there through that. How do people take to <clears throat> girlfriends versus wives or in those situations? Should girlfriends stand back and not, you know what I mean? Like me personally, I don't think I ever really, if Jay's receiving an award, like unless he like take my hand and pull me up there with him, I'm not going, I'm like, babe, go get your award. We like, I, you, we, I'm not really the one for like, we got this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, nah, let him get his award. So like it was two sides, but I also understand being that major conf confidant through that pro process and you're, you having to take on a lot of the stresses he took on and wanting to be there. I do understand that side too. So what do you, what do you think about that? Like women being a part of those big moments and not, I guess, standing down a little bit to let them, like say she was sitting across from him and he was getting the same and she's just being his cheerleader versus having to sit on his lap and then like, embrace him through the process on camera, which of course we knew was gonna get streamed everywhere. It's fucking draft. To add to that, like do you feel like that is stealing stealing the moment? You know what I I'm saying? That, do. I think that's what some people right, are saying. So, they right. felt and I, and I, and like I agree with that. Like cause me, like, but it's just the type of person I am. But I can't knock somebody like cause so me the type of person I don't uh, babe, get your, you know, cause I, right, cause I don't even want nobody to think that like I'm trying to take his shine, cause it's not even that, you know what I'm saying? So, babe, go get your shine. But like, I could see how some women would want to be a part of. It. They've been a part of everything else. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't. Why think, wouldn't I sit there? Like, why wouldn't I be excited? Now, the girl who took the nigga phone, I don't know about that. That was a little so strange. So she I tried don't. to get on and clarify. She said that his agent was calling him and she was trying to answer the phone for him. Which. Which, hold on, I mean, some niggas probably allow. Like, there's something like, babe, get this. Like, I'm on the camera. Like, so she probably was accustomed to that, too. Do you know what I'm saying? But, you know, his mom's sitting there. They on camera. It, it's a different it dynamic. But here's one thing oh, that I Oh, the mom was look like she was a cunt. Like, she ain't never like her, bitch. Yeah. Period. The one thing that I'll add to that is social media. Like, the yeah. problem that I had is, one, Trey Young, that's his ex, right? He commented yeah. on it. He, she had a couple of Maya answers. Bennis. All right? Yeah. Just Maya yeah. Bennis. Yeah. Two, the people that went and found her Instagram yeah. and were commenting. Like, stop. Oh, he played you, this, that, and the third. Like. Get a life. Like, right. Wait, so yeah. Trey Young. Wait, so they was sh they had the same. That, okay. that girl. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, what she had a couple, co apparently. Assistant. It wasn't even just him, though. So what I would say is, I like, first. Do, like, two or three other first, ones. I can't remember the names. First and foremost, I think, to answer the question, I think it's, like, uh. I don't think they should. I think like however the the, dom, the not dynamic of their relationship, right? So like if it was me, for example, I, I'm like more than likely if you've been with me four years and you've seen it, yeah, you want to share it with me. But I don't think sitting next to somebody on a couch is stealing a shine. Like I don't think that she wasn't just sitting there. She was sitting on his lap, and then through the process, he was like mind blown. But she was like almost like tightly cradling him, and his mom tried to move her out the way, and she was like, he's like no, don't move me. I'm like, right. Yeah. But wait, I'm just. It's nothing wrong with that because like she. No, 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 no. 
But what yeah. I'm hearing from like if she's holding him because he just she got was, drafted, it's like, yo, like Yeah. I've been through it with you. I, yeah, understand, I understand what you what, feel. Right, right. You said right. what I will say is That's why I said kind of both, right? Yeah. The only I'm the only other thing I could think of is maybe she was in the way of the camera. You know what I'm she saying? She kinda was taking up so, a lot of the camera. Right. So but in, in, in that moment, again, they at, at their home. I don't yeah. think they I don't think she's understanding what's going on because it's the first time we've but ever honestly, had something like that. Too, though, like, I don't know, because now that I'm re-looking at it, like, honestly, it's draft day, all your family there. I'm not really sitting on your lap yeah. in front of your whole family like that yeah. while you're playing. Like, yeah, that's not, bro, your mother's there. I don't think I've ever sat on Jay's lap when his mother was in the room, yeah, period. So like, there's so, some things you just shouldn't do. <laughs> she grabbed a shit on her. Like, some things, like, I'm just not doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and maybe that's just a, you know, I know some. I don't see no, nothing wrong with it. Your mother right. would, though. My mom will see, see something wrong with every, pretty much not everything, but a lot of things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the it's a different dynamic. Like your mom's is used to taking care of you. Like you're your mom's baby. So at um yeah, I seen that one. So it's like, for example, when my mom's came away for Thanksgiving, it's things I'm pre- like she probably ain't say anything, but it's probably things that she felt uncomfortable she about. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> but it's probably things she felt uncomfortable about. Just like it's probably things my girlfriend felt uncomfortable about because it's a different dynamic. Mm-hmm. Like once you get older, you get a girlfriend, you get to the, you living with your girlfriend, your girlfriend starts to take care of you and things like that. So when you put both women in the same room, but that's why I kind of put it on the girlfriend to monitor though, because like again, like if your mother's sitting here, I'm not sitting on your lap. Like I'm just not like out of respect. I don't, I wouldn't sit on your lap in front of my mother. Like just to be honest, I don't even think I've kissed Jay in front of my mother. Not because I can't. It's just kind of like. We don't need to be PD. Like, it's not our, like, yeah, our wedding and, you know, birthdays are compliments. We up, it's a war, like, we kids, like, but, like, we're in the house and we're just intimate setting and just, uh, like, I'm not about to be sitting on your lap and, like, you know, like, it's definitely one of those things because I know your mother is there. I'm sure your mother wants to, you know, your mother been here longer than I have. I'm sure she wants to experience the same moment. I think that's just really more so the questioning. But um, do, do I think she's entirely wrong? I mean, no, because I could kind of understand, but do, for me, like, would I have played it like that? Probably not. Well, I understand, man. That's the wrap. Yeah. We're going Gemini Scorpio podcast. You you never drink all your champagne because you be bullshitting. Shout out to Luke Belair. Uh, it's been a month already. It's I been a, do it, it's been a month. I, month. I we, it's been a month already. We need out. Uh, we need another shipment, man. Uh, if you if you lost a job or something to, to quarantine COVID nineteen, I'm yeah COVID nineteen. Uh, we pray for you. Our prayers go out to you. Uh, we wish you the best. Yes, sir. Stay in there. You know what I'm saying. Keep your Hang prayers in up. There. Prayers to Jewel. Shout out to the team. Shout out to Monique. Shout out to Alex. Shout out to Wyman. Gemini Scorpio Podcast 23. We out. It's a wrap.